800 points of rebel forces today. It's going to be led by Han Solo there on the left. He's been upgraded with improvised orders and recon intel. He's joined by best friend Chewbacca, who has recon intel, hunter, and tenacity. We got five core units, so it's going to be two units of rebel troopers upgraded with the Z6 heavy weapon. And then two units of rebel troopers, which are just running the four man squads. And a big unit of fleet troopers, they've been upgraded with the Rebel Officer, Scatter Gun, and Recon Intel. Then we have three elites starting with the Wookiees here in the back. They've been upgraded with Tenacity, Recon Intel, and the Bowcaster. And then I have a uh, Commando Strike Team with a Sniper Rifle and a full unit of Commandos upgrade with a Sniper Rifle. So 800 points, 10 activations, and a lot of junk they're carrying along with them. Uh, I'm bringing a Palpatine list today. Uh, he is equipped with Force Push and Anger and is an esteemed leader. He has his uh, Imperial Royal, Royal Guards. They have an extra Electro Self Guard. They have Tenacity and Environmental Gear. Then we have three units of Stormtroopers with DLTs. One of them has an extra uh, FX9 medical droid. And then we have two more uh, Core Troopers of, uh, snow, of snow Troopers. They both are heavily equipped. They have a flame trooper, they have recon intel and fragmentation grenades, and we have two scout trooper strike teams with the sniper rifle. And yours came in at 798, and you've chosen to be the blue player, correct? Correct. All right, let's have another great game. <laughs> okay, first. I will get rid of hostile environment. There's a lot of thinking going on here. I'm going to get rid of battle lines because Palpatine definitely loves that. Okay, I will pass on my second one. We actually do this off camera before we do it on camera and we both struggle with this. I'm also going to pass on this one. So it's going to be long march with key positions and rapid reinforcements. So we'll be back with deployment in just a minute. Okay, we're back here on indoor, as you can see. So once again, all these hills are cover one. Uh, the bunker, the radar station, the connex is there are cover two. Um, sandbags are also cover two. So plenty of good stuff here. The last thing to cover is the river. Of course, you can move across a little ford there without hindrance. Otherwise, it does be, uh, slow your speed by one. It is difficult terrain, but does not provide cover. So that hill right there is right over the middle. That becomes key position number one. Michael, you chose the connex closest to you as key position number two. And then I chose that uh, tree over there. It's a little bit further than I wanted towards you, but that was the only one that I had outside my deployment zone that I could really reach. So let's go over your deployment first. What do we got? Okay, I got uh, Palpatine, a scout, and a support trooper unit uh, right in the middle where they can get over the river easy. Also, they have a lot of uh, covering terrain in front of them, so I think they will be safe. Then uh, I have the two snow trooper units. Uh, they use the recon internal movement uh, to get uh, a bit ahead. One of them is actually uh, already in contact with the objective, and the other one uh, will go over the left flank. Uh, this, uh, the stormtroopers are more on the right flank. Um, 
where the, uh, there's more open area in the middle of the board and the two sniper units they are, uh, got some good precision for shooting and uh, a bit of cover. Yeah. So it is interesting because the board is really cut in half on the long march uh, by this bunker right in the middle. So on my side, I did put some troops over here on my left flank. We got a Z6 squad and a regular Rebel Trooper squad hiding in there. Uh, the Wookiees made use of their recon intel to move up straight towards the center, as did Han. Chewie is providing guardian duties on the big unit of commandos, as well as the commando strike team over there. And then we got a unit of four back there and a Z6 unit back there as well. As far as rapid reinforcements, Michael, you put your I left stormtroopers there. I left one regular unit of stormtroopers out. And I have left my fleet troopers in rapid reinforcement. So with that, I think we are ready to begin turn one right now. Move along. Move along. All right, we've made our decisions. I'm going with standing orders. You are going with... I'm going to go with standing orders too. That means you roll the red dice as yes. the blue player to see whether or not you're going to have priority. Nope, you have priority. Okay, so we'll go back to see what we do for orders. Han Solo has issued an order to Chewbacca the Wookiee right there. Michael has issued an order to Emperor Palpatine using standing orders. So uh, with that, I will go to my stack for the first activation of the game as a core unit. That core unit is going to be these guys right here. They're going to go ahead and move up twice. Aggressive move by the rebels in order to get into position. On this left flank. All right, Michael, that ends their activation. Over to you. From the back. I also got a four unit. Okay, let's see. Like this. Yep. And so then they can uh, take a second movement. They have to, like, they have to take a speed one movement if they are in the river. Correct. Okay. That river is just big enough to make it really difficult for troops to get past on, yeah. on one move. Okay. Rebels are going to their stack. They have pulled a special forces unit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate our sniper unit over there. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna aim and shoot at your sniper unit back there. Yep. Michael, of course, has heavy cover with where he's at. I can only see one sniper as well, so at most he's gonna be losing one. Uh, we'll reduce the heavy cover to light cover because of sharpshooter one. Here we go. Uh, that's a whole lot of nothing. Spin that aim token to roll again. Uh, for two hits. So we will take out a sniper. I will use oh. the guardian oh, no. of the Imperial Guards <laughs> and use them uh, to defend against the shot. That's, uh, at this point, you get to block one because of cover. So it's just one at oh, Pierce yeah. one. So it'll just be one wound. Oh, yeah. Okay. No need to roll. We got to play more often because I forgot you could do that. Well played. All right, so we got one wound on the Imperial Guard and then we got uh, suppression token on the snipers. And that ends the activation for my sniper. So, Michael, you draw. I will take another random draw from the back. Another core trooper unit. And I will activate the unit right next to Palpatine. Okay. Uh, first, the medical droid will heal the wound again uh, from this one. This is all going to plan for you. It's you've perfect. learned much <laughs> in the one you've played. It took me multiple games to even get the medical droid to heal anybody. It's, it's already it's already made its points. <laughs> yep. Okay, and then they are crossing the river safely. And let's see. I don't think they can see anything to shoot, so they will take a second move. Okay. to be here. Okay, let me get over here. 
all this covered, but no place to hide. I feel the same way. Oh, there's a place to hide. Okay, like this. All right, well played. Over to the rebel stack. The rebels have pulled a trooper unit. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and activate the trooper unit of four way over there. This uh, four-man unit has made a double move and is now in this piece of terrain, Michael. So back over to your move. I will activate Palpatine. And the first team will move. And then he will pull the strings. Okay. This is no trooper unit. And get them a move. Okay, over to my stack. We have pulled a Han Solo unit. All right, so we'll come back and figure out what we want to do with Han. Han Solo started his turn by taking an aim action, which of course gave Chewbacca an aim action. Then he moved up to behind the bunker, and that will end his turn there. Draw from the back. I've got a special process in it. Okay, we yeah. got three to choose from. This sniper unit will shoot back on your sniper strike team. Okay. First action being aim. They aim and shoot, yes. Alright, let's see if we clear that suppression too. No. Okay. Alright, we'll play the cover game. So my light <laughs> cover goes to heavy cover, you'll bring it back down to light cover. So we got okay. one hit. Of course I would use this. For two hits. I'm gonna take that on Chewbacca. Both players staking their sniper's lives on Guardians willing to take the bullet for them. So, I will turn. We have pulled a trooper unit. And so what we're going to do is we are going to move this unit of troopers in the woods here. Yeah. So my rebel leader has moved up, so he's in base contact with the hill. And for second action, he's going to take a dodge token. of their steady ability. Yeah. Looks like they will be in light cover due to the hill. Yes, they will shoot E11 blasters. Of course. Big unit of snow troopers. Egged on by Palpatine early. Uh, three hits. Very good. We'll cancel one due to the light cover. And the rebel troopers make one save and take a suppression. That's the first real casualty of this game. All right, going to my stack. We have pulled a trooper unit. So that is going to leave the troopers on the far side of the table. So we'll go figure out what we want to do there. Trooper unit has moved twice behind this tree. Uh, so they can look to get somebody in the crossfire. So Michael, your turn. They could, yep. Put some, some of them on this. It is less than the height of the unit leader, so they can move up there freely, as it is uh, not difficult terrain. Okay, like this. And they will shoot the rebel trooper unit right in front of them. You have clear line of sight this time. 
If you watch our videos, keeping troops in cover is not something I do well. I need to work on that skill. All right. Shoot like a stormtrooper. Two. Two uh, No save, so I lose two and take a suppression token from those poor rebel troopers who were let down by their commander. All right, so we placed the suppression over there and took away two rebel troopers. And we now go to our stack, and we have pulled our last trooper unit, which, of course, is going to be the... Um, that would be my fleet troopers. Michael, I'm going to go ahead and use my improvised orders here in order to pull another token because we're going to want to keep them off just a little bit longer. And instead, we're going to pull a special forces token. We like that. Okay, my Wookiees have uh, moved up to the base of the building. Then they use their uh, climbing skills to clamber on top. And we'll end their activation there. So back to you, Michael. They are expert climbers. Okay. Special forces. That's my, that's my favorite. Okay. They really... They will aim and shoot at the same sniper team the other, my other snipers shot at. Okay. Makes sense. All right. After cover goes up, cover goes down. I have cover one. You have one hit. You have one hit. At one. So that's their second suppression token. Second suppression token placed. At this point, Michael, I'm going to go ahead and activate Chewbacca. He's going to move up and check ranks to some stormtroopers. So Chewie, having done his duty of protecting those snipers, has now moved up. He's going to use the aim token Han gave him, and he's going to shoot at these snow troopers right there who will have light cover due to the hill. Plan is to clear out some of this threats in the very center that are a little bit on the leading edge of the Imperial Army. So two red, two white with aim token. So far uh, we got one. I'm going to go ahead and aim to reroll two of them. Uh, for two you will cover one and it is at pierce one. So not great from Chewy, but he does take out one snow trooper. That's going to end Chewy's turn. I go back to you, Michael. Last one in the back. Stone to wait in the reserve. I'll let you think about where you want to put them down at. Michael has decided to rapidly redeploy them deep behind rebel lines, threatening the snipers back there. Completely out of line of sight. Okay. Now I'm going to my stack. I'm hoping for a special forces unit. I have pulled a special forces unit, and that's going to be these guys right here. And these guys are going to move up in order to get into range of somebody as well. So the commandos have moved up and now they will be taking a shot at the unit of snowtroopers that Chewie just shot at. They will have heavy cover, which is reduced to light uh, due to the hill and then the suppression token. But we got line of sight to all of them. Unfortunately, we don't have an aim token for them, but that's okay. And that's gonna be five black and one white. These guys are the workhorses for me. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we got four hits. You will block one do to cover one and it is at pierce one so this is this is good news for us or maybe until not. you do that yeah mm -hmm. still one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right very good now that will end the activation for the rebel troopers and i think all you have left is your imperial royal guard care about the river, they have uh, environmental gear. And oh, I guess they will get behind this building, uh, the container. Okay. This is what I've uh, been thinking about and I still don't know what I want to do with my 
Rebel Fleet Troopers. So I'm going to do some measurements and figure out where I want to put them next. All right, the Rebels have played it defensively. Uh, worried a little bit about Michael Stormtroopers back here. Worried a little bit about this wave of snow troopers about to hit me. I've placed them right back here behind the old sandbags. And I think that's going to end turn one, right? Yes. All right, so we're going to remove a suppression from each unit. Any dodge tokens or aim tokens that weren't used. And then, of course, all of the command tokens. So we'll be back with our orders card next. Very important choices being made here as the two lines have become entangled with one another. I have gone with Sabotage Communications, Michael. It's a one pip. I have gone with Coordinated Fire. Okay, so you get to order one less unit than it says on your card. So you can order two units at this point. But I will have priority. Han Solo has ordered the Wookiees up on top of the bunker. And they got priority, so they're going to go first. Michael, you've ordered... I've ordered the big unit of Stormtroopers with the medical droid, and I've ordered this flanking unit of Snowtroopers. Okay. I think you thought about ordering that unit of Snowtroopers in the middle. I don't think they're going to be there for long, because it is my turn. I'm going to start by giving these guys an aim token, and then they're going to shoot at the Snowtroopers here. Bit of a risky play, but if the dice go well, that Snowtrooper unit will be gone. It's one red, three black, and four white at Pierce One. Uh, they do have cover one, and then so far I only got, oh, three hits. Okay, good. I need to check that real quick. I got a nasty habit of flipping dice accidentally. That was not a critical, as you saw. Uh, so I only get to reroll two of these. Uh, for one more hit, you will ignore one of those, Michael. And so you gotta make two saves at Pierce Two. I'm glad we went back and checked the film on that. That would have made a big difference. You can fail both of these and get rid of that. Oh, <laughs> only one die. Oh. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so two casualties would have taken off uh, the flame trooper that was not to be. So your turn. Okay. Of course, you're not, you're not kind of stuck with them out in the open. I'm sure you'd like to activate them before they get eliminated, but do you want to risk going to your bag? Do you want to start your aim draw? There are so many things you want to do to include putting entourage on your uh, Imperial Royal Guard. So let's that's, make sure we do that. Right now, there's more special forces in the bag than uh, court units. So did, you, did you not want to entourage the... Oh, uh, yeah. You were all right. Thank you for uh -huh. reminding. No worries. But I think I'm still going with the other snow trooper unit. Okay. And I hope they will be in range. Range to what? What are you doing here? What are you looking for? I'm just looking to get the flame on. On something. On something, yeah. <laughs> That's not something that is. Oh, I don't think they have range. If I can clear out this line of snow troopers, I feel pretty good, at least until Palpatine uh, really just meanders his way up. Okay, they will, I guess, hmm. hard choice. I could shoot the commandos, and I could also shoot the, the normal rebel troopers in the open, and maybe remove the C6. I think I will do that. Okay. Three Rebel Troopers in the open. Uh, that's two hits. Could be better. The other big thing here is they are not starting the aim chain, which is good for me. So two, let's make one of these. I do make one of them. So I'll take one and uh, take a suppression. Remove the Trooper from the Z6 squad. So just him and the Sergeant left and neither side really doing what they need to do at this point. I will go to my stack and I have pulled a Trooper unit. So. I think at this point, the safe play is going to be for these guys right here to shoot at those guys right there, yeah. Doing some measurements, taking a look. There's nothing better for me to do right now than to take an aim token for these three black and six white dice. And you do have 
cover one due to the suppression. Matter of fact, I better check to see the hill. Uh, no. Um, but the foliage is. So Michael's going to have cover two here because the plants kind of disrupted my view of them. Uh, so just one, two, three hits so far. Being careful not to knock any of them over. And re-roll two with the end token for a fourth hit. You have cover two at this point, so you block two. Let's see if you keep making these saves. I hope so. <laughs> and I do. The only thing getting through right now is Pierce. Nuts. So uh, these guys are done. Why won't you die? And now you're, you're forced with an our difficult decision. Do you go? Yeah, I would really risk, like to risk it and draw from the back. But uh, another good decision would be to use the medical droid on them, maybe? No more, one more trooper back. Yeah. Hmm. But it's, as long as the flame is there, that's a lot of firepower. Hmm. Really hard decision. Okay. I'm going to draw from the bag. He's drawn from the bag. He's risking it for the biscuit, as my son would say. I'm not very cool. <laughs> This is your own doing, lads. And wait, first I will see if they remove some suppression. <laughs> they do have three. Of course, they're in Palpatine's range. They don't have to worry too much about running away. Oh, but they only get one action. Yeah, that's okay. So this will be a big one. Um, we'll let you think about it and decide who you want to hose down with the flamer. All right, Michael has decided to move them up the hill. They are on the key position, and they are within range of my Wookiees up there who failed to put them down before this unit failed to put them down. Everyone failing to put them down. So it's just the one action, the flamer at the Wookiees. And of course the 11, or you got frags on them? One grenade, yeah, one fragmentation grenade. Nice. Okay, with the spray roll, you get one black dice for every person in the unit, or Wookiee in this case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I'm lucky today with the dice. Uh, I told you I felt like you were going to have a good day today. I didn't mean that you would do this. Nice roll, nice roll. Let's see if the Wookiees can make some shields here. They do not search on defense. I do uh, make one, so I'm going to lose a Wookiee and take a wound on a second Wookiee. Mm. All right, so uh, we removed a Wookiee, and we have uh, taken a wound on their Wookiee, and we've also given them a suppression token as we go to our bag. We have pulled a trooper unit. So we're going to start over on that side with those troopers. So Michael, this four-man unit right here is going to go ahead and take an aim and shoot at your snow troopers in the light cover. These are my objective holders, so I'm not expecting much out of them right now. Uh, but they do eat up an activation before I go to my precious, precious fleets. And they do throw four black dice against your light cover. Uh, we got two hits so far. And with our aim token, uh, we'll stick at two. You, of course, block one because it cover one. And... And roll one shield. No. Nope. Not this time. <laughs> Not as impactful, but yes. At least we got one with something besides Pierce. Okay, so that's going to end this four-man unit's activation right there. So we go on to you. We're going to check some things out. Did you already draw a token? Nope, not yet. Okay, so we're going to check out the board and come back. Core trooper units. Core trooper unit. Okay. Choices to be made. Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're going to go back with these sneaky guys. They would hug 
the wall. This. Just uh, so, and they will shoot in the back of your foreman robot trooper squad. Okay, and you move the unit leader so you get perfect line of sight to him, yeah? In a game that hasn't had much going for me yet, I will say at least coordinated fire isn't just stacking up aim tokens at this point. I'm not sure it's saving me, but it's better than nothing. Oof. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Oof. It's only a four man unit. Come on, Rebels. Uh, so I'll lose everyone but the sergeant. Take a suppression token. Casualties are really piling up on the rebel side. Too early for this. We go to our stack, we have pulled a trooper unit. So I think what we're gonna do is activate our fleets. The first thing they're gonna do, Michael, is use Inspire 1 to get rid of the suppression token on these guys. We're going to take a look around the board, and they're probably going to have to come back here and deal with those guys. So after looking at it, I just don't know how impactful those stormtroopers are going to be. Obviously, they're a thorn in my side, but I decided to move the fleet troopers up instead. They are now going to go ahead and shoot, try and take out those snow troopers before they cause any more damage to my rebels. Michael, of course, you have cover two at this point. But I got Pierce, <laughs> which is the only thing working for me. Uh, I mean, his bases are obscured by the hill, and he has three suppression tokens, so I'm gonna have to re-roll one of these dice because I only have nine. Oh, Lord. Take a suppression. Wow. <laughs> Why can't you roll so bad? I don't know. Oh boy, okay. So Michael, your turn. I gotta tell ya, I'm a little disappointed. Huh? Those guys are heroes again, man. I think uh, to at least get something out of coordinated fire, I will have to at least aim and shoot with one of the stormtrooper units. Okay, now you only have an activation token on this close one here with the medical droid. Yes. So that's who you're going to activate, aim, and shoot with. I will activate them, yes. And I'm still thinking about if they shoot the Wookiees or the Fleet Troopers. Wookiees would have heavy cover, the Fleet Troopers will have light cover, if that helps you. Let's see it in the check range. All right, we'll come back. All right, so we made a decision. What are you going to shoot at? I will shoot at the fleet troopers. And what do you say about my fleet troopers? I can only see the heads of them, so every shot will be a headshot. <laughs> Excellent. So hopefully uh, my fleets can survive, and I do have a Chewbacca there as well. You got your aim token lined up for you. So you use something out of coordinate fire, as you said. Okay. Uh, so Definitely. three hits so far. Definitely we have to use this. Uh, they are precise, so you oh, can yeah. do all that one too. Okay. Didn't help. So I do have cover one, and I am going to have Chewy guardian both of those since neither one of them are crits. Uh, Chewy does block one. So Chewy takes a second wound, and the fleets take a suppression token. All right, they are done with their activation and given a token to the stormtrooper unit. So I go to my stack. I've pulled Chewy. Chewy's gonna go ahead and aim. And Chewy's gonna go ahead and shoot at those stormtroopers up there. That aim token obviously will also give good friend and pal Han Solo an aim token. All right, see if Chewy can do a little bit better with the bowcaster this time. Snow troopers are in heavy cover, or light cover, and then they have a suppression token, which increases it by one. I'm hoping Chewie's surge to crit pulls me through here. It normally does. You can normally count on one or two. Uh, we've gotten three hits so far. And we're gonna reroll. Dangerous, I know. 
two dice to see if we can't get a crit here. Uh, no. So with uh, cover, you'll block these two and pierce one Michael. It means another snow trooper is dead and they take a second suppression token. Bit of a risky move rerolling that dice, but at this point I think I need to take some chances. So over to you, Michael. You have the Royal Guards with the face up activation token, and then you have your bag still to go. Yes, I would draw from the bag. Okay. Special forces got to be in there someplace. Nope, okay. it's a Palpatine. Palpatine, perfect. Oh, he's got plans, people. He will just pull the strings on the Royal Guard. Okay. Ideally, I would have cleared out some of these frontline threats already so I could start focusing on the Palpatine, but that hasn't happened. So I go to my bag, my stack, I have pulled a trooper unit. I'm going to improv order that, see if I can get something else. Uh, Han Solo is better than nothing. So we're going to get the improv order and flip that over to activate it. Han Solo is going to be taking a move action, and then he's going to sling some bolts. Han Solo is weaseled in right there where there's just enough room for him. He is in range two of both the Royal Guards and the Snowtroopers over there. And you had something to say about my little situation here? Yes, I would love to boss the Dioxys charge right into this uh, space where everyone is standing. Well, he's not out yet, so I'm safe. <laughs> Thanks to Chewbacca, Han Solo does have an aim token. I'm going to go after the Royal Guard first. Uh, they will not have cover. They have covered that one right now. I got sharpshooter one. So let's see if we can't take out one of those guys. And we will, because it's at Pierce 2. And then at the Snowtroopers, uh, who have heavy cover right now, which I'll reduce to light cover, uh, I'll take out one of them with Pierce 2, because you'll cancel one because of cover. So one roll guard, one Snowtrooper, and not a bad turn for Captain Solo. OK, Michael, uh, suppression token for both those units. Yep. And we are ready. So we've got this one left. Yeah, I got those left, and I got both of my special forces left. Yeah. And I got this little guy down here left. I think that's a safe choice. I was going to question whether or not, whether if you did something else, I was going to question it. I, <laughs> I don't think you want them uh, being lit up by my commandos. Okay. Of course, they will double move. Mm -hmm. Take the shortest path. Oopsie. And. Um, Won't quite be able to get into my commandos. No, unfortunately not, but. Uh, then the rebel, uh, the fleet troopers, it is. All right. And of course, they have charge. They're going to be able to mix it up with them. OK, so Michael did roll off camera. He removed the suppression from them, not that it mattered, their leadership too. He also has tenacity on this card, so he's getting four red and three black at this point. What are you doing to me, brother? <laughs> Seven. Yep. Well done. But they don't search for it. They do not. No. Nope. Oh, in that case, so it's just it's six. <laughs> I have six fleet troopers there. You know, right now, it wouldn't be the worst thing if you just nailed them all. Uh, but you don't. So I'm going to keep two. That's going to be my unit leader. And the scatter gun. Okay. All right, so we got the rebel officer and we got the scatter gun there still, and three roll guard right up in my grill. This is this is not going to plan as we go to my stack. 
called a core unit. Um, we're going to go with this core unit back here. Okay, little guy's going to try to rally. He will. He realized the whole Rebel Alliance is relying on him right now. What he's going to do is he's going to perform a double move action. He's going to be just short, but that's okay. He's going to stand right there and stare you down. <laughs> so that's going to be the end of his turn. He's just short there, as you can see. All right, Michael. Okay. See what he gets. Units, so it's the stormtroopers over there. Okay. Figure out what you want to do. Michael's taking a risky move. once and then I think they will shoot at the Wookiees. Okay, Wookiees in heavy cover on top of the bunker with a Sprush token. For his part, Michael does have an aim token here that was passed on from another unit. This is a full unit of Stormtroopers. So four white, two red, and an aim. Turns out strong. Nice. Uh, I'll block this one, and I'll block this one. Even three saves for my Wookiees. They'll make one, but that's another dead Wookiee. And that's important. And a second suppression token for him. Okay, that Stormtrooper unit has passed the aim token range two into the unit of scouts that is in those bushes that you can hardly see. As I go to my stack, I've pulled a special forces unit and that special forces unit is going to be this big one right here. Let's take a look and see what we want to shoot at. It does feel like a bit of a waste, but the way I'm rolling, I need to be sure. I'm going to go ahead and take an aim token for them and they're going to shoot this unit stormtroopers in heavy cover with all that suppression. I need to clear my right flank because uh, the center is not going to be cleared anytime soon. All right, five black, one white. You do have cover one after uh, I take your cover two down because of sharpshooter one. Um, so far I got three hits. I'm gonna go ahead and use that aim token to reroll two. I need one more at least, okay. So at this point, Michael, you will block one. Need to save three at pierce one. Oh, and it was close, but not quite. So both of those guys are dead. You're in activation down. And you can see, folks, I thought that was going to be overkill. It killed just enough. <laughs> so well played there. You know, luck hasn't exactly been on my side yet, but I don't feel like I'm out of the game by any means. So we will continue here and see what Michael does next. How many special force tokens left in the back? Okay, he's got here. two special forces units left. Okay, I will activate one with the aim token. Okay. And they will again shoot at your sniper unit. It's the sniper strike team. Okay. All the way back. There's no Chewbacca there to protect him this time. Uh, is that going to be their first action or are you going to take another action before they that? They're going to take another aim. All right, so two aims before they shoot at me. Best case scenario for here, you uh, for you here is you roll two crits. There's one. You're halfway there. Starting good. Uh, that is just a, a nothing because you don't search to hit. Yeah. No, okay. Just a regular hit, so, so this one will be cancelled anyway. Yep, and it's pierced, so it goes straight through me. In addition to losing a guy, I've taken a second suppression token on them. 
and I'm going to pull from my stack and get them. So let's see if they can clear one of those two suppression tokens. They do. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna aim and fire at somebody. Let's take a look and see who that's gonna be. So that's the view from my sniper rifle here. And as you can see, there's a little white thing just over Peek-a-boo. the edge there, and it's the flame trooper. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take the flame trooper out with that aim token and the sniper. All right, he has heavy cover, so this is not a sure thing. They also have like four suppression tokens stacked up. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a suppression, that was supposed to be an aim token, so we're gonna reroll that with the aim token. Come on, two hits or a crit. Yes. So at Pierce one, you're gonna lose him. Woohoo! All right, so that's gonna end his activation, having done his job. We're losing the sniper war, but we are winning the snow trooper war, slowly but surely. I'm the last unit, just to have a sniper unit. Okay. They will aim and shoot at your guy that's just shot. Okay, mm -hmm. yep. we're about to lose an asset. I get reduced down to light cover, so that means you need a crit or two hits here. Oh, that is okay. nothing. Spin that aim token. And then it's two hits. Well done. Okay, so uh, that eliminates that sniper team back there. All I have left is this unit of, well, it's not even a unit anymore. It's a sergeant and a Z6. Let's figure out what we want to do there. All right, so my two boys have moved up and they're gonna open fire on uh, this unlucky snow trooper. You see that little ridge right there is just enough to block the base from my point of view, so he will still have heavy cover. Do I hear six suppression tokens, folks? <laughs> Might be a record for this table, especially since we're not using Vader or anything. All right, one white, uh, six white, one black. Okay, it's a good roll. We have gotten four hits pushed through, Michael. You will block two because of cover two. That's the suppression token in the hill. These guys have the good armor so far today. It still doesn't want to die. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Woo, boy, that was a, a difficult turn too for the rebels and also for the Imperials. Uh, but they still got a lot of forces backed up right here. So at this point, uh, I think it's still anybody's game. These roll guard obviously causing me some problems. But we at least have one less, two less flame troopers to worry about. All right, so we're gonna clean up the board and then come back to see what happens in turn three. Here's the best thing I can say about round two. Coordinate fire didn't absolutely obliterate me. Palpatine's not the best commander for that card. Uh, you played it well, it's just, you know, sometimes that could be so effective and it wasn't. So you got your card ready? Yes. Going with Reckless Diversion. And I'm going with an entire Legion. Aha! Total activation control. Han Solo's given an order to himself, as he must, and then to the fleet troopers, who are engaged in melee right now, which means the only guy you can shoot at, if you can see him, will be Han Solo. So I, I'm kind of, kind of proud of that play. You, on the other hand, have put orders on everyone, uh, minus this unit of Stormtroopers, all the way to the right. Because they're going to be out of command range. So that's those guys right there. Okay, I'm going to go to my stack and I'm going to pull a special forces unit. So we're going to start by activating our Wookiees. For sure. First thing the Wookiees need to do is see if they remove that suppression token. Of course, they do have Indomitable. So they roll a red dice and they will remove that suppression token, which is Okay, uh, they are going to take their first action, and that's gonna be the aim, and then they're gonna fire at the snow trooper right there. Don't see a good reason to put a dodge token on them right now, because with uh, Reckless Diversion, Michael can't shoot them anyway. So I'll get one red, one black, two white. Uh, you have cover one due to all that suppression. Uh, we got a crit at Pierce 1, so that will be it for the Wookiees. Take another 
activation off the table for the Imperials. It's always nice. Finally killed them, and uh, with that, we've cleaned up the center of the board. <laughs> he won't be forgotten. He will not. <laughs> okay, I will uh, start with the Imperial Guard. Okay. They will, uh, of course, do a uh, close combat attack. Okay, I see what we're doing here. I like it. Uh, if you do what I think you're going to do, this is going to be a really clever play. If it works out, yeah, but it should. <laughs> yeah. Four. I saved three. Oh my god. Oh, that's huge. That's really huge. About time the luck turned around. So Michael, what was the plan here? The plan was to uh, wipe out the fleet troopers and then run into the commandos to uh, pull them into close combat so you would have waste their action to walk away if you wanted to shoot my guard. Yep. Unfortunately they didn't kill the entire squad so they are still in close combat with the fleet troopers. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I thought either uh, you'd go into my poor commandos there or Han Solo would have been another good move because then you could have shot whoever you wanted to. So, all right, going to my stack. Uh, we've pulled a trooper unit. This guy's going to move into you and he is going to hit you. Mm. He's going to take a. Mm. I'm gonna take a dodge, see if I can just hold you up for a while. Okay, your turn. Okay, so much, so, so many possibilities. All right, well, <laughs> what you think about what you wanna do. Michael's made up his mind. Looks like we're activating some stormtroopers. Yep. Uh, he's gonna cut out line of sight to Solo. So it'll be a little tricky here, obviously, because if he moves them too far forward, they will have line of sight to solo. Uh, but it looks like he's going to be just fine. I'm being defensive here. Make sure he keeps his objective as well. And let's see if they have line of sight or something. I imagine at least some of them have line of sight to those rebel troopers there, especially if you move your DLT 19. Yeah, place him in the front. And only two guys will uh, be able to shoot, but the DLT is the important one. Let's see if you can push some hits through cover for you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's two hits. Okay, that could do a D Z6 in, which would be a big blow, and it does. Okay, well played there for sure. Okay, so that unit is taking a suppression and has lost its Z6, who was going to open up into those scouts there, but no longer. As we go to my stack, we have pulled Chewy. I think there's only one thing I can do with Chewy at this point. He's going to, mm, well, he would love to be able to take a aim and then charge in there. If he can't do that, he's just going to. Move in there normally, and then the second action is going to be to hit on these um, Imperial Royal Guard. All right, so let's see what Chewie can do against these guardsmen. Chewie also has tenacity, which means he's got five red dice. Come on, Chewie, do something cool. Whoa. Five hits. Uh, luck has turned around for the rebellion. Oh my god. Oh, you lose five wounds. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay, uh, we went back over here. This is kind of the problem when you film games is we actually roll the dice someplace that's not next to the figures. We noticed that it did have a dodge token, so I'm letting Michael take that dodge token. So he took four wounds there instead of five, but Chewbacca coming up big for the rebellion. So now Michael, your turn. We'll think. 
That's a big blow. Big blow to the Empire. Michael's going to activate the Stormtrooper unit all the way in the back. And they will engage in close combat. Okay. So you're taking the risk and not making a name action? Uh, can, uh, can I, can I, uh, can I, so do I have to move or do, can I do this for free, surround him? So you do that for free, you're actually supposed to do it when I called into you. Okay. Uh, so okay. you're, you're okay. in context, you get two actions. So the question is, and this is a good question, uh, if you think you can take the Rebel Trooper out... I don't, I don't think I need the aim token. Okay, that's, that's the question right there. I do have a dodge token. You're rolling five black dice. I think it's iffy, but you're going to take the chance so you can uh, free up their second activation, right? Yeah. Okay. Need I remind you, the dice have turned. They're now on my side. <laughs> five black dice is still pretty good. Surgeon to hit. So that's three. Yeah, I think this will probably do it. I'll block one with my dodge token. He gets that right back, by the way. Has a nimble. Yes, okay. So that frees up his second activation. A good play there, Michael. Good calculated risk. Having dispatched the Rebel Trooper, the Stormtroopers are now moving up uh, towards the light cover provided by the trees. Okay, and with that, the Rebels are going to go to their stack. They've pulled a Trooper unit, and it's gonna be in this Trooper unit right here. Okay, this trooper unit has checked line of sight. I got three of the stormtroopers in the open, uh, having just moved into range for me. Very kind of them. I'm going to go ahead and take a name token and shoot at the stormtroopers. It was, uh, I was questioning whether or not they were going to have an impact on the game other than just being a harassment unit, and I think the answer is probably yes if I let them survive. They can definitely get to my key objective, so my key position. See if we can take some of them out here. Well, we do have an aim token, and it starts out well with three crits. One, two, and three. So I get to reroll two dice. It does have no cover, so four crits, by the way. So there we go. Let's take out some stormtroopers. Two. That's a good start. All right, so we've taken two stormtroopers away. We put a suppression on them. We've taken away the aim token, and we are now done with this unit's activation. So we'll let Michael decide what he wants to do next. Or he already knows. He's already gone through um, the movement tool. They were a threat for this stormtrooper unit, but now that they activate it, they can try to. It was a trap. <laughs> some cover here thankfully and you're going to want to make sure you don't put anybody in sight of Han Solo otherwise you will have to shoot him just keep that in mind yes unless you want to shoot Han of course okay. so let's check if I have lines of Han all right so we'll come back all right, so we checked line of sight. They do not have sight to Han Solo right now, so that means uh, this Rebel Trooper unit is in trouble. They do have light cover, though, yep. when measured from the sergeant. <laughs> All right, this has been a really good game so far. I've really been enjoying it. So let's see if you can do some damage. Uh, looks like four white and two reds. The medical droid does not shoot. Yeah, give, not give this guy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you can give him eight guns. <laughs> All right, so the dice haven't completely turned around. Hang on, back. Oh, Lord. Six. Six. Yep. Right, you can ignore one of them? You're right. Thank you. Five. Oh, I'll wow. say four. This has just been crazy today. Crazy. Okay, so these guys uh, have taken a suppression and they've lost one trooper for that. I'll make that trade. Wow, that was some good rolling. 
All right, going to my stack, I have pulled a special forces unit, which is gonna be these guys over here. And I think at this point, uh, what they're gonna to wanna to do is take some measurements. So I've opted to take an aim token here. They're gonna shoot back here. Uh, I have line of sight to everybody except for the DLT-19. So everyone's gonna be able to shoot, uh, but you cannot lose a DLT-19. Trees provide light cover. You have a suppression token, you go up to heavy cover. I have sharpshooter one to bring it back down to light. It's still a full squad, so that's gonna be five black and a white. And we got five hits to start off. Take away the aim token. To reroll that one to make it six. You'll block one, but you got five at pierce one. The good news for you is you can't lose more than two. Uh, you'll lose two. Since the leader has to be the last one to go, we uh, switch the DLT-19 for the leader. And so he loses the LT-19. And again, my favorite unit on the rebel side, full unit of commandos. So Michael, your turn. I hate reckless devotion. <laughs> <laughs> it it yeah. messes with you every time. Yes, really. Okay. So what you have left at this point I is... I two snipers and palpatine left. Yep. I guess I would like to help with him. Okay. One move. I could pull the strings on the stormtroopers. To shoot at this rebel unit again? Yeah, they are yeah. still a full squad. Uh, indeed. I think that's the best option. Okay, I think it's a good option too. All right, this time they'll have heavy cover though, so we got that going for us. I will say you are playing around Reckless Diversion better this game than you have in the past, so yeah, you see it enough from me. <laughs> Han is maybe my favorite commander. Not the best commander, but my favorite, so. Uh, oh, it just takes a second suppression token. Dice have been just swinging. <laughs> So there's our second suppression token as we now go into the rebel stack. And we've pulled a core unit. Can go with this four man unit right there and check some range. This tree is gonna be my bane. I, I took a look to see if I could move these rebel troopers anywhere that I could get line of sight through the, what is essentially two trees and I can't. I would love to put a third suppression token on him. He is. Isolated away from unit leaders and uh, I'm sorry commanders would have been good But I couldn't do it because of the tree so instead I've moved them up a little bit there now in range for those stormtroopers right there So they're just gonna throw four black dice at you Okay, four black dice is not nothing you do have light cover at this point because of the hill But let's start doing oh, four hits block one <laughs> You just save uh, two. Yep. And you still, uh, well, the medical droid's not going to be able to heal anybody because he's already activated this turn. All right, so we have taken a stormtrooper off of there and we have flipped over our activation token there. So now we just have the snipers left who must shoot at Captain Solo as much as they don't want to. Well, even if I move, I would have to shoot him, so that's what we'll do. Yeah, so aim token and shoot. Yep. Okay. Han has light cover and low profile, so it'll be cover one. So far, you got nothing. Uh, one hit, so it's just going to be a suppression on Han. There's Captain Solo with his suppression token as the rebels are going to go to their stack. It's the last one we have. It's going to be a core trooper. That's going to be that guy right there. First thing we got to do is see if he removes the suppression which he does. So we're gonna get a move on with him. He just took a little move up into the trees there and now he's gonna shoot down at these stormtroopers. Uh, I'm not really worried about him getting shot at right now, otherwise I would have taken a dodge because he could become important late game, so just an easy move and shoot. 
Now they are suppressed, which means they have light cover, so I needed to get a crit here. Uh, it's just a hit, so take an air suppression, Michael. And Michael, you have one more unit to activate as I go ahead and flip my activation token yes. over here. My other sniper striking is also supposed to sh shoot Han. Yes, so you are. So they also aim and shoot him. Force sounds like such a harsh word, but that's really what's happening here. Oh, come on. Okay, so one's going to go through at Pierce 1. Han takes his first wound. So in addition to a wound, Han takes a second suppression token. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to activate my fleet officer. First thing he's going to do is inspire one off of Han to make sure Han has both actions. And then he is going to go ahead and aim and punch a royal guard right in the nose. It is one black dice. It is a surgeon to hit, so it's not nothing. And that is a hit. He is an officer. Ah, oh, well done. That would have been too good, too good. With that, uh, Han's going to activate. First thing Han needs to do is see if he clears the suppression. He does. And what Han's going to do is he's going to move up on top of this hill here. Uh, I do see you, Palpatine. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to hop on top of the hill, and it is less than his height, so he can legally do this. Just moving right up here. And he's going to shoot down at those stormtroopers. I think that is the only option he has with Gunslinger. All right, Han. You always do well for me. Don't let me down here. Uh, two hits. Um, you do have cover one, which I will ignore because of sharpshooter one, so that'll be two dead stormtroopers from that squad, Michael. All right, so that ends the turn in what is a very interesting game. Uh, so we're going to clear a suppression token off of everybody. Just one. And I'll grab this one for you back here. And everything else looks good, so we'll clean up the order tokens and come back with cards after this. Round four. Change of plans? Yes. <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> I'm going to keep change of plans. You can keep ambush. Okay. Yeah. okay. Michael has ordered his core unit of store troopers right in the middle there. I'm going to put an activation on Han Solo, one on Chewbacca, the Wookiee, and then one on the Wookiees up here. So, Michael, you do have priority. Yes, I will start. Okay. Uh, I will see if I can remove some of the suppression. They have two. They don't move. No, them. so they will have one action. Not panicking because Palpatine is there staring him down. All right, so the stormtroopers have made a decision. They're going to shoot at the lone trooper up there in light cover, uh, getting two red and a white. You can push one through the cover. Uh, you do with a crit. Uh, I will not save it, so there goes an activation for the rebels. Well played. All right, Michael, I'm going to go ahead and activate Chewbacca. First action is going to be to take an aim with Chewie which is going to give Han a name. And then he is going to attack your royal guard there to put him back with his friends. Put him back with his friends is a euphemism for saying put him six feet underground. Uh, so Chewie gets a number of red dice. And that number is four, and then he has tenacity. And since he, has, he is wounded right now, uh, he gets to throw five red dice. And he's hit four times, so I'll use that aim token to make it an even five for the Royal Guardsman. Oh, looks like he's dead. He is dead. Nice. Okay, so that's going to end it for Chewbacca, and you are forced to go to your stack now, Michael. Okay. Hmm. Would have liked to uh, get him a little bit later. You don't have improvised orders, do you? No, I don't. 
It's a great card. Here comes the Emperor. Let's see what you can do. This is exciting. This whole game's been exciting, but now the Emperor is coming out. Okay. We have the Wookiees in range. We have the what's left of the Fleet Troopers in range, and we have ha uh, Han and Chewie in range. Yep. So many targets. Yep, I guess I will go and uh, shoot, attack the Wookiees. All right, attack the Wookiees up on top of the bunker. They have cover one, cover two at this point. You might want to. I don't know if that's gonna make you rethink it, yeah. but the yeah, bunker yes. provides cover two, and they are higher elevation. Well, he has pierce two, so it doesn't matter. It pierce two, yes. not sharpshooter two. Oh, yeah, okay. Correct. Okay, maybe I will go for Han because he doesn't have any, any cover. He has nothing that's right now. Like it looks like it. Yeah, okay. All right, going after Han. Getting all the dice here. Oh, we're rethinking. We're rethinking. What? So we just checked force push, he is out of range to force push Captain Solo. Now you do surge to crit. And I got cover nothing right here. And it's pierce two. Yes. I'm gonna take three on Chewbacca. Okay. Because I'm in guardian range right there. Now, do you want to apply pierce at this point or just have it go through Han and let Chewie roll his white dice, no surge? Han gets a reroll on his dice because of an uncanny luck. Okay, we're, uh, Pierce will go to Han. Okay, so here's Chewie. Chewie saves two. That is very lucky. All right, so Han takes a wound and a suppression token and a second suppression token, right? Yes, he's so attack is suppressive. Okay, nice. Han has taken a wound, Chewie has taken a wound, and Han has taken two suppression tokens. So now we figure out what we're gonna do. And we're gonna start with an easy decision that's gonna go to my stack. It's not an easy decision, it's a cop-out decision, that's what it is. So that's gonna go with these guys right here. Let's see if they can clear their suppression token. They do not, they're going to shoot at this lone stormtrooper back here. See if I can take him out of action. Even if I don't take him out of action, what this might do, as long as I hit with the two black and six white, is put a second suppression token on him, which will put him in the possibly panicking status. Let's see if we can just kill him outright. So we got three hits. You do have a suppression token, so you do get to cancel one of them. So two chances to save your stormtrooper here. Got to make them both. Nope, one out of two. So there goes an air activation for the Imperials. All right, I want to put a pin in that one just to kind of see at the end of the game what you think if that was an effective move or not to bring him back there. I have had to divert a lot of resources. All right, Michael, so it is your turn now. Yep, patrol from the back. Okay. It's a special force unit and I can shoot whatever I want. You sure can. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> one turn you can shoot who you wanted to. Yeah, okay. So many targets. So many nice targets, yeah. Okay. This unit here, yeah. they will shoot the Wookiee Warriors because they have no cover for me. Okay, agreed. First action, take a name action? Yeah. Okay. There's your dice. Equal height, no cover. Uh, one hit so far. Mm, yeah, I wonder if it was one. Two. Two. It is at Pierce 1, of course, so I need two shields here. I got one shield, but you ignore it with the Pierce. So two wounds to a Wookiee Warrior. I can see where you're going with this, Michael. So I'm going to activate my Wookiee Warriors before a second sniper unit gets on them. And they're going to come over here and shoot down. So first, let's see if we clear that suppression using Indomitable. We do not. And so all they're doing is they're moving to the edge. So they got a nice clear line of sight and they will shoot at these stormtroopers. 
They are leadership two, of course. Uh, so they got uh, one red, one black, two white. You do have one uh, suppression on you, so you do get cover one here. I do surge to hit, which you will then cancel. And then it is at pierce one. So that crit's gonna take out a stormtrooper and put an air suppression on you. All right, so we continue to whittle down that stormtrooper unit right there. As we go to your next activation, you are down to a full healthy stormtrooper unit and a unit of scouts, as far as I can tell. And this is levels. Okay. I guess they will shoot the fleet trooper that, uh, uh, commander that's left. Oh, now what's the deal with you guys? You guys being German, shooting at officers. You're not supposed to shoot the officers. All right, shooting the officer. Max did this to me in a recent game as well, shooting all my officers. Well, uh, the Inspire has been really good for you. Yeah, I do love Inspire on both sides, Rebel and Imperial. And I think it's going to become more important as suppression just gets a bigger and bigger role in the region. Yes, for, uh, for example, with the Death Troopers coming out this month. Yep. Okay. So, no cover after your sharpshooter kicks in. Uh, okay. No hits at this point. You just need one hit. And there it is. Pierce right through my officer. Officer down. Rebels go into their stack. They've pulled a special forces unit. I'm going to improvise order that and pull a trooper unit instead. So I've moved these uh, troopers out of my key objective. They've moved up to the hill in order to deny Palpatine any sort of cover save room. Throw four black dice at him right now. Get ready to pay for your crimes, your highness. Took these guys to secure objectives and drive my activation count up to 10. And I have not been disappointed. Let's see if we could just put a wound or two on the Emperor. That would be sweet. So I do three hits, Michael. Okay. And now, of course, the Emperor surges on defense, and it sounds like you have something planned. Yes, he will uh, use esteemed leader uh -huh. to give uh, one of the hits to the uh, unit with the magical droid. Okay. And he will take the rest of them. Okay. So, first esteemed leader. Yes. Okay, that survives that. And then the Emperor himself saves one of two. Woo! He's mortal! Okay, so that ends their activation. So we go now to, I believe, your last activation, which is your stormtroopers. Yes, the royal guards are dead. Yes, thanks to a certain Chewbacca. Okay, let's see. You know, just taking one wound off of Palpatine is just a, a big morale boost because that's one more, one less shot coming at you later on. Okay, we'll just peek around the corner a little bit. Okay. And we're keeping that heavy cover at the expense of some shots, but probably a good trade. And I guess they will shoot at Han too. Okay. So Michael, you're rethinking this a little bit. I yes. reminded you Han Solo has low profile with those two suppression tokens. Yes, and in that case, uh, I think it's better to shoot at the rapid trooper unit. Okay. Just left of him. And yeah, I think four of them will be able to shoot. Okay. And I will have light cover with them. Okay. Okay, so Michael has his dice ready. Okay. Could be better, but... I'll cancel one. Does it like cover and block one? It could have been a lot better for you, buddy. We'll take it. So the rebels are going to activate Han Solo now, having taken the suppression token on those rebel troopers. So Han needs to try to clear some suppression. He clears one of two, so he's going to get both actions. He's going to do some gunslinging, Michael, and he's going to shoot at these stormtroopers here and the Emperor. See if we can't clear them out. He has an aim token Chewie gave to him right at the beginning of the round. Okay, the stormtroopers are the most important target here. They are suppressed, but with uh, sharpshooter one, I'll take away that 
uh, cover you would normally get. I've gotten one hit. I am going to use the aim token. Try to take away. Yes, so that will do the unit in. At Pierce 2. And then at the Emperor, and we did two hits to him as well. Of course, he is Pierce immune and surges to defense. So we'll see if Michael can make those saves. He makes one, misses one. This game is starting to wrap up. With the second action, Captain Solo is just going to uh, move back a little bit. Bring his suppression with him. That's going to end his turn. And New York kind of activation, so we go now to the Rebel stack. We've pulled a trooper unit. All the trooper units are now dead. Next up, we have a special forces unit, which is going to be these guys right here. And what they're going to do, Michael, is they're going to move up to the hill. And these guys are heroes. Heroes. And uh, with Hunter, they're going to get an aim token and shoot at Palpatine with all the dice. All right, so aim token from Hunter. And it's still a full squad, thanks to Chewbacca. So that's five black, one white, five hits. Aim token. Now, uh, Palpatine, of course, has a suppression token, but I will ignore your cover. One with my sharpshooter one, uh, five hits. Pierce immune again, so you ignore the sniper rifles. Pierce one. Two more wounds to the Emperor. He's down to his final wound. That there is my final activation. So we look ahead to turn five. We'll clean up the board and uh, see if we press on or not. We'll be right back. After discussion with four wounds on Palpatine, all these rubble forces here, uh, Michael has decided to retreat with the Emperor, and I think that's probably a good call. He can't win at this point. I just have too much combat power. I'm controlling the objectives nicely, and um, I mean, you just can't beat a full unit of rebel commandos. They're just too good. All right, good game, Michael. Good Let's game. Uh, talk about it, because I, I definitely want to talk about where you brought in your rapid reinforcements versus where I brought mine in, and kind of how you phased your attack uh, and whether or not we do that differently next time. So join us for the post-game wrap-up, as usual. Take three. Uh, first time I forgot to record, second time I was way off on a tangent. So third time, this is gonna be it on the post-game wrap-up. And what I wanna say first, which what, what I forgot during take two, is I'm not afraid to say it right now, Star Wars Legion is my absolute favorite game of tabletop miniatures on the market right now. Yeah, for me too, it's really killed uh, 40K and uh, many other games. It just, it plays faster. The Decisions you have to make are really important and the game today it was exciting from the from the beginning to the end it, uh, I'm really uh, exhausted right now. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. it, always But it was so much fun Yeah, so you know, I played a game of 40k last night. I have a good time. I, I really enjoy 40k I wouldn't be doing 40k battle reports if I didn't but uh, it was such an imbalanced game um, for various reasons. Star Wars Legion, I think the biggest strength of it right now is how much balance there is between the different types of forces. Even between different rebel builds and other rebel builds, or imperial builds versus imperial builds, or of course the cross faction when they fight each other. I think the game is so well balanced that every game is going to be interesting. Yeah, they did an amazing job. And for instance, uh, I took a slightly unusual uh, rebel list today, and I took Han Solo without Luke Skywalker and Chewbacca is my uh, dynamic duo. They did really well. 
I want to try a higher activation rebel list and leaving Luke out allowed me to get up to 10 activations and I normally run about eight. Uh, got the Wookiee Warriors in there, a sniper team, and then the full unit of commandos that I really loved and I think it really paid off for the rebels. On your side, you went with a Palpatine list. You're, you're kind of juggling between two list concepts in your head right now. So what do you think of the Palpatine list today? Uh, I really enjoyed playing it. It's really fun. Uh, it's uh, hard to uh, make the best use of him. Make him uh, make the uh, over 200 points that he costs worth. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's really fun playing. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, this time I took a lot more use of pull the strings. Yep. Uh, the 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 uh, downside of it is that he it took him a lot longer to go uh, to get to the enemies. Uh, but uh, if you can pull off some really good attacks, it's worth it. Like uh, slingshotting the royal guard f uh, forward in one of the turns was really worth it. Yeah, um, definitely uh, trying the list again, making some minor tweaks maybe. <laughs> it is a scary list to play against because when things go right for that list, and I think you made a lot of good decisions today, and I think your gameplay has really improved, and you really stretched me today for sure. But, you know, with the rolls being what they were, there were some key moments where when the Royal Guards should have killed the Fleet Troopers, and I made all those saves, and they could have engaged into another unit, uh, but weren't able to do that. And things along those lines, it, it did manage to allow me to handle the waves of threats that you threw at me. And I think one of the things with Palpatine is he was a little bit slower today with Pull of Strings. I think that was compounded by the fact that we were playing Battle Lines, not Battle Lines, Long March. March. And so what I did was I had three distinct waves of threats coming at me. The first one was those Snow Troopers yep. with the Recon gear that hit me, and they were a pain to deal with. And they did some good damage to me as well, especially the one in the middle. And then you had the second wave, which was the Royal Guard. Uh, but by the time the third wave got up there with Palpatine, I think your combat power had really diminished by that point, And I had too much activation advantage over you. And it allowed me to bring down the Emperor, as you saw. So I think battle lines, uh, while you make a good point, is interesting for Palpatine because it forces your opponent to really clump his forces and you can't go far left or far right, you're gonna have lots of targets when you get to play and y'all you shall die, it does take them a while to get there. Yeah, yeah the, the other good thing is, we mostly when you play uh, Empire, you only have one commander, like Palpatine is, is expensive, and uh, on the long march, all the units will always be in range to give them uh, commands. Yeah, but uh, took, him, took him too long, to get to the front, yeah, because of, uh, also because of the use of uh, pull the strings. Yeah, I, I think there was two key things that I'd like to highlight from this game. The first one was Han's commands cards, which continue to be money for me. Yeah. Between Reckless Diversion, and you played around it really well tonight with your Stormtrooper units, but your Sniper units having to shoot at Han and making some suboptimal moves with the Stormtroopers just so they wouldn't have to shoot at Han, uh, that was key during uh, turn three. And then turn four, playing, um, change your plans. Yeah. Preventing you from doing the Palpatine bomb. Really annoying. Like to. <laughs> yeah. The Hans cards are really the most powerful thing about him. It, it, yeah. Uh, they, they really ruin your plans. And you know, you know they are coming, but still you can't do a lot <laughs> about it. Now, <laughs> well, there was a little bit of confusion. Uh, you thought that if I played Change of Plans that I had to then take Change of Plans off and we both could put a new card. That's not the case. So the Rebel yeah. player does have a choice. He can continue and use Change of Plans as it's written on the card, which gives Han an order plus two troopers to your order yeah. at three pips. So no matter what, I wasn't going to allow you to do and now you shall die yeah. on turn four. I was going to make you wait till turn five. Yeah, if, if I would be, uh, have been able to use it the turn earlier, uh, it would have been a lot Better. He could have, instead of attacking, he could have uh, made a second move. He would be in, be in range for more units and he could have uh, made five attacks. Yeah, and we've seen what that does. Yeah. It, it would have cleared out my center, so it was Han Solo saving the day. Yeah, definitely. Um, making you keep that ambush, which was certainly a much less powerful card than in an now, now You Shall Die. So the second thing that I thought was interesting about the game which was full of interesting things, but I want to point out was rapid reinforcements. 
you took a very aggressive approach with the unit of stormtroopers that you put into reserve. I took a very conservative defensive approach with my fleet troopers. Mm -hmm. And I, I did want to ask you do, you, do you feel like that was the right thing? How do you think that impacted the game? So I think uh, I would play it again, like uh, the same way I did. Last time uh, with rapid reinforcements, I took uh, units of snowtroopers because they can uh, deal out a lot of more a lot of my damage when they get uh, behind your lines. Uh, but the uh, stormtroopers, they are immediately in, in range, um, and uh, they can all, also they can stay a bit behind cover and shoot from the backside uh, where you m mostly don't have cover because you can't have cover in yeah. both directions sometimes. Um, I think it. I think it was. Uh, it was uh, a good move. Uh, uh, not not to take a, uh, to make a lot of damage, but uh, to. Uh, 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 you really diverted my forces yeah. and, and made me backtrack. Just to uh, give you more th uh, things uh, to think about. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it was a good move. I think it's a better move if you have an officer in that unit like you did with the snow troopers last yeah. time we played, but that's not always possible. I thought about doing the same thing with the fleet troopers, but I thought it was more important to kind of crowd that middle there. And really, you putting the stormtroopers behind me forced me to put those fleet troopers there because I needed some more combat power in the center. And that turns out the fleet troopers didn't do a whole lot for me, except for stay alive when they should have been killed by the Royal Guard. Uh, but they really fluffed their role when they tried to get the snow troopers out of there. And a very high threat unit did not do much damage for me this game. But as you point out, during the game, that officer in there given Inspire 1 was also a thorn in your sides. Yeah. Uh, and that's the reason why you took him out. What's to do both? It's officers are, are so good. I love them uh, on certain units, both on the Imperial side and the Rebel side. And they're not too pricey, so I'm glad I brought that. So the other thing that you had to do tonight was the heal bot. And he did heal uh, Royal Guardsmen. Yeah, he could only use one of his two heals, but uh, it was uh, it was already worth it. The game started out really well for you. You had your Royal Guard guardianing for your sniper unit, yeah. and then you were able to heal it right yeah. back with that medical droid. I thought that was a brilliant play. Yeah, the medical droid also um, could uh, eat some wounds for Palpatine by using a steamed leader. Yeah, still still one uh, one guy to defend for him. <laughs> So yeah, that that is uh, medical droids are a surprisingly tricky unit to play because the act when you activate them is so important. Uh, you gotta do it at a time where they can heal units that have been taken away, yeah. or then you're at risk of losing them. So I I need more practice with the medical droids. It certainly makes sense for imperial players, and I thought you played it very well tonight. Yeah, they they, they cost a lot of points, so um, it's hard to get to use them good. As uh, I could have used them better. Use the second heal too, and uh, maybe bring some uh, one of the royal guards back to life, or a storm, even a, a stormtrooper would have been worth it. Yeah, but didn't get the chance. It's uh, just the timing was was off. And they do screw with your opponent's heads as well, because I, I play them against Max quite often, and when he takes out a DLT, he gets very excited, and then when I bring that DLT back, he's no longer excited. So. I think that about covers it for tonight, Michael. It was a fantastic game. I appreciate you coming over and playing what is my favorite tabletop game right now. Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. It's really fun. Anytime. So if you like the video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time on the Work Quirky YouTube Network. Thanks again. Bye-bye.